Big Game Pow! Hello everyone, Big Game Pow here, Planet Retro. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year. Hope you all had a good night, New Year's Eve. Right, pick up this video, episode 8. Quite a lot to go through here, first of all. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hope you enjoyed all my videos, especially my Christmas Eve one, the Christmas special, my Mega Drive collection. I will eventually get on to going through the NES over there and PS2, PS3 down there, a few Wii up there, not very much. I'm planning a room tour soon. Right, first of all, there's a few events coming up next month and March. First of all, you've got the Milton Keynes Gaming Market. Very first one going to be held there. It's going to be on the 8th of February. It's at Stanton Berry Sports and Leisure Centre in Milton Keynes. I'm going along there with the Nameless Gamer. If you spot us, come and say hi. And as always, I'll be doing a pick-up video from that, probably filming as I go around. After that, you've got the Margate Play Expo. It's the 21st to the 23rd of February in Margate Winter Gardens. I'm still 50-50 on that one, yet. Yeah. I probably won't go. But if you do go, let me know what it's like. And I hope you enjoy it and pick up lots of stuff and play lots of arcade games. Thirdly, one you will see me out if you go to it, is the Doncaster Video Game Market at the Doncaster Dome on the 1st of March. Once again, me and the Nameless Gamer will be going along down to that one. So hopefully see you there. And fourth up is Revival Part 1 the 7th to the 8th of March in Wed Wednesbury. It's just east of Wolverhampton. Probably won't be going to that one either. There's too, too many events all near each other. But I'll definitely be going to Milton Keynes and Doncaster. So if you do see me, come and say hi. Meet the nameless gamer who's too shy to be on the camera. You can see him in person. So yeah, let's get on to the pickups. So first of all, we had Christmas. So I've got this T-shirt, nice little retro gaming consoles controllers on there. I'm quite happy with this. And then my brother got me a Pokemon Sword and Shield strategy guide. I haven't opened it yet, but. We'll get into it. Need to find out where all the Pokemon are because I'm trying to get the 100% on it. You also pick me up the binding of Isaac, binding of Isaac, the afterbirth. It's like a really fun retro style game. Looking forward to giving that a play. So yeah, thanks for them. Then, being Christmas and all, getting a, quite a bit of Christmas money, I thought I'd uh, treat myself to a few bits. So I've picked up, let's get the newer stuff out of the way first. So we've got Aglius, is that how you say this? Aglius. Aglius for the PS4, not played yet, still sealed. But. Yeah, it looks like a little side-scrolling retro-style game. Looks pretty good from the pictures. One-player game, so uh, yeah, I'll get into that, give that a go. Then I picked up Shenmue. Shenmue 1 and 2 and Shenmue 3. Yeah, I haven't got into playing these yet, but they come with a nice little, little manual in there. Don't often see for a PS4 game. 
never actually played a Shenmue game, so I don't really know much about them. They look pretty good. Got a guy on there playing an arcade game, I'm guessing that's Shenmue. One and two, and then obviously the third one's just come out. So I've got that. Still sealed. But it's quite cheap off eBay. So yeah, as I like playing them in order, I'll be playing one and two once I've completed them. Be cracking on with Shenmue 3. Comes with a nice little, little slip case. Doesn't have the name on the side though, which is a bit annoying. But yeah. And then treat myself to a Switch game. Axon Verge. I think that's how you say it. Axon Verge. It's like a Metroid Vania style game. I've had a little play on this. So you play as a scientist who has apparently died, but really he's in an alien world. And he goes along and he, as he goes into different parts of the world, you get different weapons. So it's a bit of a like puzzler as well. Different weapons do different things in the game, different abilities. Need certain certain weapons to get into certain parts of uh, the world but yeah i haven't got into it that much but at about 30 minutes into it seems pretty good then i've got myself a nes game so it's super mario bros tetris and the nintendo world cut all on one i think this is the only Combination, compilation one they've got for the NES, I think. I couldn't see any more. But yeah, it's just... I've got all three of them. Well, I've got, yeah, I've, got, yeah, I've got all three of them. So, just for the collection. Full set. And then this one. PS1 titles. Got Command & Conquer Red Alert. I actually already own this game, but it's the only one in my collection that was a platinum one and didn't have a manual. So now I've got a manual for it. Both this, and obviously the black label one, not a silver one, because it stands out in my PS1 collection. Used to play this game for hours when I was younger. Used to have a couple of my mates come around, they used to bring their PlayStations, we used to link up, play two player on it. Nowadays you just go online, you can play hundreds of people, but back then you had to <laughs> use two PlayStations. So yeah, read a lot. Don't quite know what this one is, I think it's a shooter. Si Siberia? But I see it on eBay, it's only... Well, I paid for it now, it weren't much. Just put a cheeky bid in and won it. It's all complete. Don't quite know if it's a shooter or not. It's got. Don't quite know much about it, but. Yeah, I'll give that a go. It looked quite fun. Then I was in a charity shop. And I picked up. Rage Racer. And it was only £2, this one. It's got its manual in there. But I don't quite understand this one, whether it's meant to have whether it's meant to have two discs or not, because it doesn't say, but it's got a second slot for a disc. Yeah. Game I used to have back in the day, just a nice racing game. So I've got that now. Next up, picked up the X-Files, nice double case one, it's actually got four discs in this, it actually uses all of them, they're all falling out for some reason, yeah, disc three and four there, and 
one and two in the manual yeah this is basically just like playing an episode of the X-Files but apparently you don't see Mulder and Scully until you get to the fourth disc which considering they're like the main part of everyone watches the X-Files I can't understand it but I think I've watched a couple of videos I think they were busy filming one of the movies so they weren't available to make the game but I'll give that a go. Then obviously you had the new Star Wars film come out just before Christmas. Went and watched it at four o'clock in the morning on its release. So walking around charity shop. Star Wars Force Unleashed Unleashed for the Wii. Again, not played it yet, but that's quite fun. So I'll give that a go eventually. Just got so many games lately and obviously it being Christmas and everything, New Year's. Back at work, I haven't really had a chance to play anything yet. Then I found out there was a couple of rare PS2 games. I don't know how rare they are. So I thought I'd add them to the PS2 collection. First up we've got Furry Tales. It's like a cartoony game that's quite fun. Different animals on it. All complete. Don't know what to say about it. Furry tails. Give that a go. And then another one what apparently is meant to be quite rare. <clears throat> Animal Soccer World. Quite a fun like a puzzle style game. Guess there's a bit of football involved in it as well. Don't quite know, but I've got like got a couple of the animal games on the PS1. They're becoming quite hard to get now. Yes, yeah, it says it includes cartoon movie, jigsaw puzzle pairs, colouring book and puzzle. <clears throat> I'm guessing that's on the disc because I never had it, but it's all complete. So yeah, that's all the games for this week. Let me know down in the comments if you'd rather have the just casual talking about the games like this or whether you'd rather me go back to my Sonic Mass map and having more in-depth details about the games or whether you just want to see what I've picked up. So yeah. Let me know. And uh, if you do see me at the events again, just come and say hi. Not hard to miss. I'll take it off the event size of me. So, yeah. As always, see you next Tuesday. I give you my heart.